Go ahead. How you doing today guys? Today we're grinding up some tomatoes for sauce. We're going to use the sauce to make some tomato leather. And we're using our Cabela's uh, meat grinder with a tomato juicer attachment on. Um, this is what we, we bought this this year to do all of our tomato sauce. We've had the meat grinder for a few years, but we bought the tomato strainer attachment. It also makes an applesauce with it too, and it works out really good. It makes quick work of the tomato sauce. If you've ever used a hand crank version of this, it works a lot faster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Get it, get it! That tomato See, Henry's got control of the situation here. Probably half a tomato or half a bushel of tomatoes. Half a tomato of bushels here. Dad, you can tell these are not. Put food. some in there. Yeah, I will. Okay. I want to show the whole process. Throw some tomatoes in there. I can't find it. Wasn't in the table on the side of the side table, was it? Put your tomatoes down in there. And the auger. Pull them through the strainer. And run some nice thick sauce down into your pan and pushes all your seeds and skins out the end here. Now this looks pretty thick yet. You could take that and make probably some sauce or some salsa with it. Or you take it and you run it back through the machine about four times and you get probably 95% of your juice out. Makes a real nice thick sauce. And the kids like to help. They lose interest with the old squeezo. That was my grandma's. But they, they can hold their attention long enough to do this one. Here, I got you, buddy. Oh, no. Quit pushing on it, honey. It'll get it'll it'll drain. Yeah. You're knocking this thing over. That's what I'm telling you quit pushing on it. Thank you. 
this is our end result here. It's our nice thick sauce. I just want to show you something. For instance, we have a lot of juice left over from where we quartered our tomatoes. You can pour that straight in the hopper there and it will take all those seeds out. It won't leak or cause any problems and that'll go straight in your pan. I'm not doing it because we're going to be dehydrating this sauce to make tomato leather. And Kelsey's going to post a blog up about the tomato leather. So Dad? we'll put that down in a link down in the description to her blog post on the tomato Dad? leather. Dad? What, honey? What does tomato sauce leather look like? Well, we'll see, won't we? All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks. Say bye. Bye.